to. And I had second thoughts about that. I looked around the room. Maybe the kids broke it. So I looked all around the room, and I, it didn't seem plausible that the children broke it. They're very small. This object had to be kind of heavy. I'd thrown a ball around with them. I just couldn't see how the kids could have could have done it. But you uh, didn't see how it got busted. I didn't see it. I didn't know for sure. And I didn't know we'd be discussing this in a murder trial. So I didn't like investigate further or think about it very much, sure. to be honest with you. And in town at the time. Okay. So let's go forward a little bit to this TV situation. Do you know anything about Wendy's TV being broken? I do. And when was the TV broken, if you know? Between June 11th and 18th, I think it's closer to the 11th, but 100% in that week. And how do you know it was in that week? Because we rented a movie, How to Train a Dragon 2, to give the kids a special movie night. And I have text messages where I'm discussing having seen the movie by the 18th with friends. So you were able to refresh your memory? Yeah, I was able to refresh my memory. Yeah. Okay. All right, so do you get the movie? or? I, well, it's back in the day. It was Redbox, so I rented a DVD from a Redbox. It was 2014. All right, and go over there with the movie, and what happens when you arrive? I walk in the door, and uh, Miss Adelson asks me to look at her television because there's something wrong with the television. And what was wrong with the television? Well, I turned it on, and I was immediately confused because it really shouldn't have been a question. As soon as you turn the TV on, it's been struck by an object and is damaged and basically unusable. Can you explain what the damage looked like? Yeah, it looked like somebody stood in front of it, took their fist, and hit it like that was my first impression. So um, kind of like a shatter mark with spiders? Yeah, there's like an impact crater, yeah. and then there's, uh, out from that, there's, and it's all pixelated and distorted, which makes it very difficult, or really no one would watch this TV unless you, know, you had to. And I had second thoughts about that. I looked around the room, maybe the kids broke it, so I looked all around the room, and I, it didn't seem plausible that the children broke it. They're very small. This object had to be kind of heavy. I'd thrown a ball around with them. I just couldn't see how the kids could have could have done it. But you uh, didn't see how it got busted. I didn't see it. I didn't know for sure, and I didn't know we'd be discussing this in a murder trial, so I didn't like investigate further or think about it very much, sure. to be honest with you. I just thought, okay. Were there other TVs in the house? There was a TV in the back bedroom, a similar make and model that we had watched television with the kids before on that TV before, so yes. Is that where you watched the movie that night? No, I went to go uh, hook up the DVD player in the back room. Miss Adelson insisted that it would not work and actually stopped me from even trying. So I um, thought that was very odd, but I didn't want to argue. And it's her house, her TV, her kids. So I said, okay. So a new TV. It was not like an 80 inch TV or something that was really that luxurious. It was a TV like you'd see in a dorm room. So we could have replaced it right away. All right. Did you? It's unwatchable. It's not covered by warranty. You're going to have to get a new TV. And I offered to go do that for her anytime she wanted. She's a busy single mom. I'll run by Best Buy, get you a new TV. It was not like an 80-inch TV or something that was really that luxurious. It was a TV like you'd see in a dorm room. So we could have replaced it right away. All right. Did you end up getting a new TV? No, she turned me down several times on that offer, and I again, it's her house. I tried to respect her boundaries, and I said, oh, okay. But it was inconvenient because after dinner, you know, it's nice to be able to put the kids in front of that TV while you clean up the dishes and stuff, and okay. it just sat there being an inconvenience for a while. All right. And was that TV, did he buy you a TV as a divorce present? He did. And was that 
TV, the same TV that was being repaired at your residence at the time that your husband was murdered? It was. Who made the arrangements for that TV repair? I did. Your mom didn't make those arrangements? I don't believe so. I guess to replace the TV. He came out to fix it and then okay. told me that what was wrong with it wasn't fixable. Right. And so I called Charlie to find out, should I buy a new one or should I fix right. this one? And he was like, just buy a new one. 